what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest MSM extended ROM on this device and this is a build by Srikanth so he is a really good friend of mine and I do talk to him time to time to use this ROM if you have a Redmi Note 5 Pro you will definitely enjoy it let's go into the firmware version and here as you can see on top we have the MSM extended like logo over here and if you see the version this is the official 8.0 version and the build date is 15th april 2020 so quite the latest build android version is of course 10 the maintainer over here of course srikanth and you can definitely talk to him if you have any problems on this rom we have latest april 5th 2020 security patch and the stock kernel over here is the storm breaker extended kernel and the performance over here which i have been noticing is pretty good but let me tell you about flashing this rom first well i have the orange fox recovery installed with the latest orange fox recovery you just need to flash the rom with the gapps file because this rom does not include gapps so you need to flash a gapps i'll recommend you using the latest open gapps rm64 version 10.0 and nano version of the gapps because others may like have some problems while booting and stuff so nano is quite light so do use the nano version of the open g apps that's how i flashed it i just like wiped cache dalvik system data because i was on a different rom so after i have wiped those i just like flashed the latest rom build of this msm extended with the g apps file and it booted fine no issues whatsoever and make sure you have a backup if you are flashing this rom because if in case something goes wrong you can like restore it right away so now let me just go into the settings again and here if you talk about the customizations there are plenty of customizations inside this extensions but first let's talk about the most interesting features over here let's go into the updater and this has a system updater and you can check for updates from this like settings and you can also like if you have a decrypted storage if you can of course like use this updater to update whenever there is a new official build and let me go back from here and then if you go into the security option we do have the face unlock feature i have already added my face so now let me just quickly like use that face unlock as you can see here i have five fingers i can just use double tap to wake and as you can see this is the face unlocking speed let's do it again whenever it unlocks it like gives you a haptic feedback so that's cool let me just do it as you can see it unlocks really really fast i can just use double tap to sleep because it has the stock launcher as the launcher launcher and the double tap to wake of course is there and if you notice the unlocking speed over here again with the fingerprint scanner and as you can see the device gets unlocked like really fast even with the fingerprint scanner as well as with the face unlock so i have no issues with the like face unlock and stuff and let me show you the settings of course of the launcher launcher and here as you can see there are plenty of customizations for this stock launcher we have this gradient color accent color etc for this stock launcher and then the desktop kind of customization of course this is launcher launcher has the most amazing kind of customization features in the gestures we of course have the double tap to sleep and every other thing like touch and hold and stuff all those things are present over here by default you do not need to worry to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere to get to the quick settings panel and if you're noticing there is this background blur which looks really really cool and this is the stock wallpaper of course on this rom and the widgets and stuff over here are working totally fine you do not need to worry the stock camera is really interesting this is the miui camera present by default over here so no issues with this camera it takes the photos pretty fine without any issues it also shows the like watermark kind of as you can see but it shows redmi note 5 not the note 5 pro and in the video section of course we have the 1080p 60 and the 4k 30fps options as you can see so pretty much like everything should work fine no issues with like anything portrait mode and stuff should work fine too without any issues and also there is one more camera present by default which is this cyanogen kind of camera or the snapdragon camera you can call it if you want to use that for some reason you can definitely use it if you want to so as you can see the front camera portrait and stuff everything is working let me take a portrait picture it's been a while i have taken a photo on this device so let's just click on it and as you can see the portrait has actually worked and as you can see the background is completely like blurred perfectly so yeah the portrait pictures and stuff like selfies and stuff should be working super fine no issues with these like kind of things before i jump into the customizations let me talk about some more things ir blaster on this rom is working totally fine 
and I have tested it. It works fine with this LED RGB remote app and like with me remote and stuff, it should work totally fine. And the safety net I have tested, I do not have a SIM card in this device yet. So yeah, I have tested this like safety net test and it shows fast. So that means like you can definitely use Google Pay and stuff right out of the box. On this ROM, you do not need to worry. Now it's time we jump into the customizations and inside this extensions, we have a lot of customizations. If you're noticing over here, the list just goes on and let's go into the buttons first because it's on the top. And here we have the volume rocker kind of customization. By default, the volume panel stays on the like left side. I have turned this volume panel on right. If you want that, you can definitely use it. And the, if you are annoyed, like whenever you tap your volume button, the panel just goes away. You can increase the timeout or decrease it if you want to. And here there is this ring notification alarm, etc. volume customizations if you want to use them. Now let me go back we have the decor room and ambient display settings and stuff is there we have the new notification kind of thing for the ambient display lift to check phone and stuff those things are there in the animations we have the whole ui customization of the animation and you can also change the screen of animation to crt or scale as you're liking and inside the battery styles over here you can enable the battery like percentage and stuff as you can see this is the quick setting battery style you can change it like whenever you have the quick setting bar pulled like this you can change that and there is this status bar icon like for the battery you can choose the circle circle dot and, and the circle field if you want that and icon portrait and you can also enable this like battery percentage enabled if you want it and you can also have it inside the icon if you want that and custom charging notification kind of things are there i mean this is a symbol which shows kind of a flash over here while charging and then this battery percentage when charging option is there let me go back to the clock settings you can have the am pm of course and then date and date font and stuff you can increase the font size if you want to then there is the carrier label status bar logo status bar weather battery bar is there if you want a battery bar on top you can definitely have that on this rom by default and in the gesture settings we have the aosp gestures and in here let me show you there is this gesture navigation and if you tap the settings here we have the show an animated arrow back like hiding option if you don't want this arrow to be seen like you can hide that and also there is this full screen gestures which uses like the full real estate of the screen it hides even this small pill present on the bottom so yeah you can definitely use that and there is this advanced gesture features where like you can like swipe from the edge to edge to have a function so that really helps and let me go back we have the adaptive playback option too if you want that for some reason and we have the swipe to screenshot let me show you this is how the screenshot works and as you can see this is like pretty cool the three finger screenshot gesture works fine okay so in terms of the screenshot kind of type you can adjust it as you're liking you can set this take full screenshot with extended screenshot then only it will do that like long kind of screenshot let me show you i just scrolled something over there and as you can see it takes a little bit of long all right so let me just go into the settings and from here right now if i take a screenshot i can scroll like this as you can see it works fine not a problem here so it takes a long screenshot but you have to change that settings in the extras as you can see it did take the longer screenshot and it should be like pretty fine if you set that longer kind of extended screenshot from the settings and there is the screen of power torch works fine then the double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar like double tap to sleep is everywhere on this room you do not need to worry on the status bar on the home screen everywhere and then there is this lock screen option and there is this hide lock icon lock screen UI etc and one more really interesting thing over here there's this lock screen charging flash animation you can have this like these many animations like battery drop explosion water etc and then we have the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner which is really interesting feature you, like whenever you reboot you do not have to enter your pin you can just tap your fingerprint scanner and it will unlock the device so always unlock with the fingerprint scanner is there and i really really love it and one more thing let me show you there is this lock screen charging info yes it does show the info over here on the lock screen while charging really cool in the navigation bar we have the like navigation bar enabler of course then there is pixel like animation over here if you want to have that and then there is this notification panel we have the heads up disabling option if you want that and dialer heads up is there then the notification ticker option is there i think that stock dialer should have the call recording option but i'm not really sure you guys need to test that and let me scroll down we have this edge lighting feature which is really cool whenever you receive a notification you can like have it solid or faded you can have like these many customizations and there is edge lighting repeat kind of count you can have like up to 10 times of repeating 
and then there is the duration of that like edge lighting and you can also change the color of the edge lighting over here really cool feature and this ambient display brightness you can have like you can change them and the in-call vibrations like vibrate on connect call waiting and the vibrate on disconnect feature is there and blink flashlight on call is there too and inside power menu we have the power menu opacity and the power menu reboot dialog dim background and stuff kind of and then there is power menu animation rotate all right as you can see this is the most noticeable animation you can have these kind of features over here you can disable the power menu if you want on the lock screen then there is the advanced reboot of course and from here on the power menu we can of course like reboot like this in the advanced reboot we can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or reboot just the system ui let me go back we have the quick setting panel and here we can adjust the quick setting panel opacity and you can like have a different color or use the default color of the quick setting panel column and row number customizations are there and there is this quick setting header image customization you can have a custom header image on the quick setting panel like this over here if you want to now let me scroll down there is this quick pull down feature you can have it on the right left or always then there is the brightness icon settings icon etc stuff and the blur like behind the quick setting panel this is really cool like this blur kind of section over here whenever you have the quick setting panel pulled out in the status bar settings we have the status bar items and headset bluetooth etc icons are there we can also have this microphone kind of icon on the status bar if you want that there is this volte icon chooser option you can have the hd volte oxygen kind of icon normal volte icon or the vo icon and 4g instead of lte icon is there network traffic indicator is there you can like disable it or enable it if you want to bluetooth battery stats brightness control on the status bar of course this is a really interesting feature that i can swipe on the status bar to like adjust the brightness even this feature is there so i would say no feature is actually missing over here and in the system settings we have the smart pixel mode then there is the time in state do settings and aggressive battery settings and pocket detection etc is there now let me go back to the extras option let's see what else is inside and here we have the gaming mode if you want to enable it you can definitely like enable it wake up on charge you can disable it if you want to charging animation is there this vibrate on plug kind of feature now let's just go into the battery and here things get a little bit more interesting we have the battery temperature and stuff and then we have the smart charging feature just in case if you want to have a good health of your battery you can like have this like stop trigger level as you can see it adjusts by default over here like the start trigger of course adjusts by default as you can see you can have it like 95% stop trigger level so the battery will only get charged up to 95% just because of the battery's health or something if you want that you can like use this smart charging feature now we have the adaptive battery settings to over here and then there is the battery saver and then you can like have the full usage from here and of course the battery life should be pretty good like you can get 5 plus hours of screen on time easily as this is an old device do not expect a really good battery life if you have not really changed the battery actual hardware so yeah now let me go back to the display settings and here we have the brightness level and stuff night light should work pretty fine no issues as you can see it does make the display yellowish and in the adaptive brightness we have the auto brightness of course we have the auto rotation options up to like 180 degree to 70 degree everything double tap to wake is there game driver preference is there you can set it per app and then there is this theme room and from here you can have these many themes like light google dark solarized dark etc like these kind of features and then there is the accent color pricker so this is really cool you can like have any color from here like as you're liking and this gradient picker is there too if you want to change the gradient color for something you can really have that and then there is the headline and body fonts there are multiple fonts as you can see plethora of options are there for the like headline and body fonts and then there is this icon shapes we have square teardrop square kill cylinder rounded rectangle etc and then there is the status bar icon kind of you can change it to filled circular or rounded now let me hop into the sound settings and here we do not get the me audio direct for some reason that i do miss but yeah i think there was some problem that's why the developer did not include it but yeah the me audio direct is not present by default over here and let me show you there is no like audio effects or something by default present over here so you are stuck with whatever like kind of audio you get and in terms of audio i can definitely say the audio like output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well should be pretty good no issues 
and talking about the quick setting panel as you can see these are the toggles present over here and you can add like edit and add more stuff from here and i have added from here the screen recorder option and let me show you by default the screen recorder is present and this is the oxygen os kind of screen recorder and with this you can change the resolution to like however you want you can set it up to this 4k resolution and here you can change the bitrate too and if you notice the fps and stuff as you can see you can get 60 fps and there is this like audio source changing option you can have it the internal audio recording option you can have this and then we have the video orientation changing option and stuff so the screen recorder by default is present and this is really helpful so thank you so much for watching this video guys on the redmi note 5 pro and do hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel down below if you have not yet this is tito from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now